So today we are looking at tables and we're trying to decide, are these linear functions? Now in order for something to be a linear function, it has to be both linear and a function. All right, if it is, then we write an equation for it. So let's go through these and decide. For table A, let's start with deciding if it's a function first. If it's a function, for every input, there's only one output, meaning for every x value, there's only one possible y value. For table A, negative three gives us five, zero gives us six, three gives us seven, and six gives us eight. Yeah, this is a function. Every single x value gave us just one y value, so that works. So it is a function. Now, to see if it's linear, what we need to do is see if there's a consistent slope throughout this whole table. So let's see. For, our, for the y value from five to six, it went up one. And for the x value, it went from negative three to zero, so it went up three, so my slope is one over three. Let's see if it's consistent the entire way through. Six to seven, it went up one. Zero to three, it went up three, so the slope is one third also there. Rise over run. Seven to eight, it went up one. Three to six, it went up three. Look at that. It has a consistent slope of one third the entire way through, so it is linear. And since it's linear and a function, we know this is a linear function, and we can write an equation for it. Y equals my slope, one third x, plus the y-intercept is when x is zero, Six is my y value, so that's my y-intercept. There's the equation for this linear function, y equals one-third x plus six. All right? And that's all we're gonna do for each of these tables. Let's do table B to check it out. All right, so first, let's check to see if it's a function. For x, we've got one. Input at one gives us a three. Uh, input of one again gives us a four, uh-oh. Input of two gave us a five, input of two gave us a six. So notice, we've got an input of one giving us two different outputs, and an input of two gave us two different outputs. This is not a function. So no, this is not a linear function. If it's not a function, it's definitely not a linear function because the same input gave us two different outputs. All right, let's do another one. Table C, let's check to see if it's a function. Input of zero gave us a negative eight. Input of five gave us a negative 10. Input of 15 gave us negative 14. And input of 25 gave us negative 18. So notice, it is a function because every single one of these x values gives us only one y value. So now we can check to see if it's linear. So let's find the rise. It goes down to and for these two, my run is going from zero to five and went up five. So my slope is negative two fifths. Okay, let's check the next two. From negative 10 to negative four, went uh, negative 10 to negative 14, it went down four. And my run goes from five to 15, so it went up 10. So my slope is negative four over 10, which reduces to negative two fifths. So, so far it's consistent, negative two fifths, negative two fifths. Let's check the last one. Negative four to negative 18 went down four. From 15 to 25, it went up 10. So negative four tenths again, which is negative two fifths. Hey, it's consistent. The slope is negative two fifths all the way throughout this table. So it is linear and we can write an equation for it now. Y equals negative two fifths X plus now we need the y-intercept, find when x is zero, y is negative eight, so plus negative eight. There is our equation for that linear function. All right, let's do table D. For table D, first, is it a function? Zero gives us one, two gives us one output, four gives us one output, and six gives us one output. Every single input gives us only one output. It is a function. Now, let's check to see if it's linear. The rise goes up two, and the run goes up two, so my slope is two over two, which is one. Now, for this one, the rise is four. My run is, uh-oh, it's two. So my slope is four over two, which is two. No, notice, 
my slope changed. It went from a slope of one to a slope of two. No, this is not a linear. This is not linear because the slope isn't consistent throughout the entire table. All right. We're on to the last one then, table E. So first off, is it a function? Zero gives us one output, two gives us one output, 10 gives us one output, and 14 only gives us one output. It is a function. Now let's check if it's linear. My rise is up one, my run goes up two, so my slope is one half. All right, next pair of rows. Eight to 12 went up four, and my run went up from two to 10, up eight. So my slope is four over eight, which reduces to, hey, one half. It looks good so far. From 12 to 14, it went up two. My run went from two to 14, so it went up four. So my slope is two over four, which reduces to one half. So notice when we reduce our slopes, they're always one half. This is linear. So this is a linear function. So we can write an equation for this one. y equals 1 half x plus my y-intercept when x is 0 right here, 7. 7 is my y-intercept. There's our equation. y equals 1 half x plus 7. So remember, in order to determine if something's a linear function, you have to check to see if it's a function and check to see if it's linear. And then once you've done that, just find the slope and the y-intercept and you can write your equation. I hope this video helped you out a little bit. If it did, make sure you hit that like button and then subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.